Good evening. That's right. Mmm, wasn't that smooth? Hey guys, what is up? It's Minutes with Mildred and welcome back to the channel. I'm sure you guys already know, like, isn't it beautiful? If you're new to my platform, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Also, go ahead and give my video a big thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm and it also helps me. So thanks for your support. My last video is a giveaway. The camera is over here on display still. It's not been given away yet. Yes, I'm giving away a Fujifilm Instax Mini 11 in the color charcoal gray. I swear this thing is basically black, but they gave it some weird fancy names. I just wanted to announce the winner, and the winner of the Fujifilm Instax Mini 11 is... I'm gonna walk you guys through a quick little step-by-step -step of how I did this. So the very first thing I did was tackle my wall. My wall before wasn't really terrible, but it was everything was hung up too high and it really wasn't appropriate for what my channel portrays. I think it should have been a little bit more organized on top of it. It needs to include some elements that I use in my channel. Cactuses and big wooden loops are not a part of this. So the very first thing that we did was take everything down. I think that's just a good way of like cleansing, purging, having a blank canvas, figuring out where you want to start. This side of my room that I'm actually on tends to actually be one of the darkest walls. So I kind of took advantage of this. Three weeks later. Y'all look, I got new lights. I'm trying to take advantage of it. We're really just going to fill all the holes in, sand and repaint so it's completely fresh looking. I sat down and went through Pinterest and was brainstorming how I want to organize this. So I did a rough sketch. Um, this is kind of just collectively what I figured out what I wanted to do. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, I know the drawing's a little rough, but we're just gonna ignore that. But I think you'll actually be impressed. The second, or aka final drawing is the one that you see right here. I actually used one of my little editing apps that I used for my thumbnails and I think it turned out pretty convincing. So now you have an idea of where I wanted this to go. Take my hand and so for the shelving, I ended up getting two different shelves from the store Lowe's. I ended up getting the floating ones, which were, I didn't realize, were a pretty penny compared to normal shelving but I ended up getting a four foot and then a two foot. Now I had to get a little bit of help at first hanging my shelves cause I didn't want to ruin my parents' walls and I don't necessarily know how to do it. It was more or less trying to figure out where they go because they weren't really the greatest at being centered. So I asked for a little bit of help from my dad, um, nothing on him. After we hung them up, this one shelf was like way over here. Like I stated previously, the shelves are super easy to hang up and install. You don't even really need a stud finder unless you're gonna be putting a lot of weight on these shelves. I wanted these to be flush. It was my fault for not telling him where the little holes were and I didn't realize that they don't line up like that. I have no idea what to do. Math makes me feel stupid. But besides that, I went behind and just fixed that one after I just kind of like watched him do it. So I learned how to hang a shelf up, guys. The second test we had is hanging up these little like frame thingamabobbers. At first I started looking at Wish and I really wanted to do one of their like their nice canvas ones, but they didn't really have a great selection for like small prints. So I was just like, well, we're just gonna go to CVS and print out them. So I just went online and found a bunch of pictures that I liked. Take my hand and hold it tight. Look at the paintings, I'll be your guy. A lot of sunsets. I don't 
know why. I just went through and just picked photos that appealed to me. And I also tried to make them a little bit cohesive, like color scheme and all that business. I got the frames at Dollar Tree. You can imagine they were a dollar. So cheap DIY budget if you need frames. Goodwill, Value Village, or if you need a lot of them, just go to the Dollar Tree. I ended up getting these plain silver ones. They didn't really have too much of a selection when I went, but this is the best thing that they had. Finally, I went to Michael's and got some background paper. I thought a nice little splash of color would change it up, make it a little, a little funky, make it look cool. Missing their eyebrows. I think it's a genetic thing or something with their booty, but I think they're just too pinhead to realize that. And if I ever want to like change it later on, easy access, all I gotta do is pop the tape off the back. Maybe we'll be okay. I know that you're coming back home. For anyone who thought I actually fell, um, I didn't. That was staged, but I got y'all. Ha! Huh? We need to sit down and have a conversation. Like, Millie, why do you look like you just rolled out of the bed? Well, audience, people, anybody who's watching, I did. I know that you're coming back home. I cannot wait to swivel my life away. And they totally go with my room, which is a, an eclectic mess. <laughs> Took me a little while to figure out what I wanted to do, but I think it's turned out great, but it's not complete yet. Everyone, please turn your attention to exhibit one on the left side, Minutes with Mildred logo. It's literally written on a piece of paper. I'm definitely gonna DIY this, but I have not decided what medium I wanna use. I don't know if I wanna do like acrylic paint. I don't know if I wanna do it like on a chalkboard and get like really pretty chalkboard markers. Just haven't made my mind up was what I'm trying to say. giveaway i'm gonna be giving away this fujifilm instax mini 11 and it is in the charcoal gray color i already counted how many entries i had i had 238 valid leak oh, oh. <laughs> what was that there are 238 legal entries so 238 people actually entered my giveaway so that's very exciting next step i just looked up on google Google randomly pick a number between 1 and 238 for me. It actually popped up with the generators. I can't get my screen record to work. I sat here for like 15 minutes on God trying to figure out how to do it. I wouldn't do it, but this is the best that I can do for you guys. So I have a random number between 1 and 238. So as soon as I click generate number, it's going to pop up with a new number and that is going to be our winner. I'm going to start at the very bottom and I'm going to go from the bottom to the top and I'm going to count how many entries to this number. And then whoever that number is or person I land on is going to be who is the winner of our giveaway. I'm so excited to see who wins. This is going to be who? Yes. Okay. So on the count of three, you're going to click the generate number. So one. So on the count of three, we're going to click the generate number. So one, two, three. Okay, so our number is going to be 74. So let me show this to you also. We can verify. Um, oh, where'd it go? Where'd you go? 74. Can you see it? 74 right there. Also, reminder, if you watch this video, you should definitely not skip the ads because it helps me a lot. There's a lot, so it might bear with me. All right, we're still going strong. Almost there. Okay, we're at the bottom. Okay, so starting with one okay so one two three four thirty one 
32, 33, 34, 67, 68, 69. We're at 73. And we're gonna scroll up. And so our winner of our Fujifilm Instax Mini is actually Christian. Subbed and liked from Canada. I would take pictures with my family and friends on vacation as well as scenics. So I'm just going to message uh, Christian off of YouTube and tell him he won. And hopefully he sees this. I'm sorry that there can only be one winner. Trust me, if I had a million cameras, I would love to give them away to every single one of y'all, but there can only be one winner. I would really appreciate it if you would stay subscribed to my channel. I know some people are probably just gonna unsubscribe because they didn't win. I mean, that's fine. More chances for y'all to win in the future. I like giving stuff away, so this is definitely gonna happen again later on down the road. Maybe if we hit another milestone, 10,000. Yeah. So congratulations to our winner once again. I hope he actually enjoys his camera and, you know, has a lot of fun. I love seeing pictures that you guys take or like pictures of your Polaroids. Feel free to share them with me or tag. Even if you want to like slide up into my DMs, I will most likely respond and answer to you guys. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!